I was asked at a recent talk that I gave to demonstrate how I selectively sharpen uh, images in Photoshop using uh, a high pass filter. So I'll show that now. We'll open Photoshop firstly. And I'll open the image that I'm going to use to demonstrate. Now this is um, uh, a photograph I've recently taken of IC1318. I'm actually going to use the hydrogen alpha layer which I ultimately used as a luminosity layer. Uh, this however will apply to just about any, any image um, color or black and white. I'm using black and white hydrogen alpha because it's uh, easier to see the effects that this will have. First I'm going to duplicate the layer. Uh, this is so that I can go back and show the original against the, 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 the modified version. So I'm going to again duplicate the layer. So we've got these two copies of it. I'm going to filter other high pass filter on the top layer. I adjust this so that it brings it shows the areas that I want to sharpen. And in this instance I'm just going to sharpen a couple of the smaller features to, to let you see how much difference it can make. We go OK to that. The trick now is to change the blending mode to either overlay or soft light. Overlay has a much more uh, sharpening effect than the soft light does, so we'll go for overlay. If I switch it on and off, you'll see the immediate sharpening effect, and it is it's far too strong, and it looks makes the whole image look far too sharp. So what I normally do is I go for a layer mask and hide everything that I've just done so that the whole of the sharpening is now hidden. I select a soft brush, in this case uh, it's 70, and white so that I can paint into the mask to reveal selectively the areas that I want sharpened. You'll notice that the opacity is 49% and flow, well they're both around 50% which is what I normally use. I make sure the mask is selected and I paint onto the areas that I want sharpened. do a small couple of small areas here to bring out some detail in it and so that you can possibly see the difference. Just painting in white over these to sharpen them up. Okay that, that'll do for demonstration purposes. I'm going to switch this on and off so that you can actually see the sharpening. It's subtle but it's uh, it brings out some very fine detail particularly if you look at this area. And that's all there is to it really. I just I'll flatten those, merge those two layers. And we're done. And I, I normally will will sharpen some particular areas when I use this as a luminosity layer then that is what's sharpened the color is coming from the uh, from the uh, Hubble palette hydrogen off oxygen and sulfur uh, layers combined and this is used as a, a luminosity layer over the tarp so it's the sharp one over the top. I'll switch it on and off. So that's all there is to it. Works with any image, works with a colour image, works with a final image um, but it certainly helps bring out some very fine detail. Hope that helps.